This video is going to demonstrate how to use a Wi-Fi controller to control an ETX telescope with software. This can be on an iPad or an iPhone. In this case, I'm using a MacBook Pro using Sky Safari software. And the controller I'm going to use today is an AutoFi Wi-Fi controller. First thing you want to do is hook this up to your telescope. It has an RS-232 end, which goes into the bottom of your AutoStar controller right there. The other end, labeled auxiliary, goes into the auxiliary port on your ETX telescope over there. And then what you want to do first is do a normal alignment of your ETX telescope. So it's all connected. Turn it on. Do a normal alignment of your telescope. And the date and time information first. Time is... 2 42 p.m no today daylight savings time i'm gonna do a one star align just to make this quick it says to put it in the alt l's home position i'm gonna which is leveling the telescope tube and you want to have it pointed north so i'm going to assume that the tripod's north the tube is level, and then you want the fork arm centered above the control panel. Okay, that's in the home position. I'm going to hit enter. It says to select a star. I happen to know that Capella is just above the horizon towards the northeast a little bit, so I'm going to use that. And I say enter, and it will slew over a little bit to the northeast. And it goes to Capella. And then if you were outside, once it stops on Capella, you would use your arrow keys up, down, left, right to get that nice and centered as well as you can in your eyepiece. Once it's centered, you hit enter and your alignment is done. And it says align successful. Okay, you are now done with your hand controller. Now what you want to do is on the computer side, Go to your Wi-Fi, and you want to look for something called AutoFi for network. If you're on an iPhone or an iPad, you do the same thing. Go to your settings and choose to connect to the AutoFi Wi-Fi network. And then over here in your, um, this is under the telescope settings box, you would choose your scope type. This is ETX 90 to 125, mount type, alt as, go to, connection type, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, Oops, since we're using Wi-Fi. And the IP address and port number are from the back of your AutoFi. Uh, this is at two per second readout rate. Um, and that's just maybe what it defaults to, I'm not sure, but we'll just leave it at two per second. I always click the set time and location that coordinates it, like sets the time on your AutoStar to be in sync with your computer. Okay, then on your uh, scope control box here or at the bottom of the screen down here, either one, you can hit connect. And it says connecting, and it gives a little ding, and your well, it centered it on Capella. So your telescope is now pointed to Capella. And if you want to go to a different object in the sky, you can just click on it, like Polaris, and say go to. And then it will go to that object in the sky. And you'll see the crosshairs on the uh, software will head towards Polaris and once it gets its little final adjustments done you'll see that it is right on Polaris. Okay, whoops, can I zoom in there a little bit on that. Let me see, it's right on Polaris. Nice thing with this is uh, your hand controller on an AutoStar is not up to date with you know some of the uh, comets and things that are coming around so if you ever had like a comet that was in your your Sky Safari or software that you use, then you could click on the comet and go right to it. Um, here's Jupiter over here. Click on Jupiter, say go to. It'll take it right over to Jupiter. So I enjoy using this more with like an iPad because it's even more portable. Just have an iPad and touch things on the screen and move it around. And I move this over more towards the center, and you can see that 
it's heading towards Jupiter. It'll do its fine tuning and it's right on Jupiter now. Now, if you need to ever like uh, fine tune things, you can either use the AutoStar hand controller still, or you also can use these four buttons here to move things around. That's going pretty fast. You've got the slew right here to change your slew speed so you don't have to have it um, that fast or slow. If you ever need to um, move around an object a little bit and then say a line, you would just get it centered with either the hand controller or these buttons, then you could hit the align button, similar to holding down the enter key for a long period of time on the AutoStar controller. All right, I hope that helped you learn how to use the AutoFi controller with your ETX telescope.